Hey there, King Theist. This is Tim Kilgore. I'm responding to your Christian right versus secular left video. I'm responding to your video rather quickly before I lose my train of thought. I'm actually responding so quickly I couldn't even take a chance to fix the lighting in here. Uh, usually I record my videos by the light of day with the beautiful sunlight streaming in through the window, and uh, I don't have that luxury at nighttime. So uh, I'm going to preface my response that my area of expertise is in general Christianity but the specific Jehovah's Witness religion, as you can see by my videos. Now also, if you watch my videos, I did mention I'm horrible at remembering my lines, so I'm pretty much reading off a computer screen. I'll try to keep it interesting. Um, I chose to respond to this video because the definition you give your argument are somewhat disingenuous. While your illustration is apropos for the definition of the word tolerance, uh, you don't like the pain in your shoulder, you merely tolerate it. It isn't exactly the use of the word tolerance when it comes to the secular left. In general, while it's the act of enduring, it's also the act of just letting someone be. Uh, just let them live their life. You treat the person as you like to be treated. You wouldn't want them stopping you from doing what makes you happy, so you don't stop them. Obviously, unless it involves hurting someone else. Now, your definition for love is unconditional caring for your fellow human being. Once again, I really don't think that paints the whole picture. When conditionally, I'm going to say, I don't think that's the case for your fellow Christian. You may have heard the phrase, loving the sinner but hating the sin. There's nothing unconditional about their love whatsoever. In fact, through their teachings, they believe that they are showing love by trying to put people on the moral and just path, which just so happens to be the way they're trying to live their life. While this may be love in their eyes, in my eyes, and in many other people's eyes, this is anything but love. For example, Let's use the illustration of a son struggling with his sexuality. After months, or even years, of trying to find out who he is, he finally comes out to his parents. Now, let's say for the sake of the illustration, his parents are split up. His father's coming from the secular left, and since I mentioned before my area of expertise is Jehovah's Witnesses, the mother will be a witness. When the son comes out to the father, his father tells him, Honestly, son, I'm a little disappointed, but overall you're a great kid, I couldn't ask for a better son. I'll support you in whatever you choose to do with your life. For the sake of example, let's say the mother handles it in a, in a nice fashion. She tells the son while she loves him as a person, she hates what he does. He must pray his hardest to try and become normal again. If he can't become normal, at the very least, he'd have to remain celibate and not seek out a same-sex relationship because that would be an abomination against God. Now. Take a look at the example. The father told the son he was a little disappointed, but overall he supported him in whatever he did. The son might be hurt a bit by the line about being disappointed, but the father tolerating his lifestyle, he's going to get the support and love that he needs. On the other hand, his mother said she loves him, but she's enforcing her rules to try and save him. She's showing her love by telling him what he needs to do to be right in God's eyes and her eyes as well. Once he lives his life against her and her God's wishes, that love's completely revoked. Personally, I think the illustration is more to the situation of a Christian right versus secular left. It deals with a person who's making a choice and what Christian love and secular tolerance uh, react with. If you're using the illustration and you're the child, which would you rather have? Uh, personally, I would much rather have the tolerance. I don't mind if someone doesn't like what I'm doing, as long as they let me do it. I would much rather have someone tell me they didn't like what I was doing, but I have every right to do it, and they're not going to stop me, instead of having someone constantly interfere in my life, telling me to change what makes me happy under the guise of love. But, of course, that's only my opinion, and you know what they say about opinions. It's like some part of the human anatomy, and everybody's got one. But, that's all for me. So, Tim Kilgore, signing off. The Brooklyn Bombs, what is the dirty birds? What is the Lords of Brooklyn? Won't go back on the birds, go for pissing on the